Okay, episode two, three. Well, like the second part of the episode of me getting ready in the morning, and as for PM, I've been editing for hours because I've been trying to concentrate but still distracted because it is what it is, and that's that. Um, yeah. I should do a channel intro video as well, so I might just squeeze in since I'm facing my camera now and the wires are kind of just everywhere. So I'm just going to record it. Maybe I'll let my hair down, give it some flavor. Okay, so first I start with my hair. Uh, so I bleached my hair in Japan, which is last year. And it's, you know, it's a bit like grass now, which is fine, but it's not like the most fun to deal with sometimes. And then I'm using my tangle teaser to comb it because it hurts less. Even though it sounds like it's super painful, it's actually like fine. And I play some music in the background, but you know, YouTube and licensing, so I don't know. I'm gonna just put music in later for the video. I kind of let my black roots grow out, which has been like a big source of like, I think, I don't know, at first I thought a lot about it. I was like, oh my god, black roots. But then I was like, I don't hate it. So that's just that, I guess, right? Um, I grew up with a lot of colors in my hair. And my mom obviously was like, why? And I was like, because it's cute. I regret nothing. Right, so look at, look at that. Oh my god, it's dead. So I use Loretta hair, hair oil. It's rose scented. I think there's another smell if you don't like the smell of rose. I use like two squirts and I should have it on my hair and it has kind of helped me keep my hair from being like this like turbo messy i don't know not not fast dry fast like when it comes to split ends i don't really have them or if i see if you were just cut off an inch or a centimeter like i just get air i guess to just cut a straight line and then that's that. I'm trying to keep my own as I can't. I think if I add up hair to it, I'll just like short circuit. Okay, so hair is done. And then I tie it up because in my head, I feel like the warmth from my head will make the oil work better. And so I do. Okay. Right. And in that moment, I had this massive thought that my arms were massive, but. This is what it is. I haven't been working out and eating bad. And to feel shy about it is human. And I'm working on my diet. So that's that. Also, my nails are silver because they match everything. Like, I should write an old to silver nails because you can wear anything and it matches and it's great. This is after I bathe. So every time after I shower, I do this. I like, put the oil in my hair and I. Moisturize, you probably should wash your hands in between your hair and your face. This is what I use to moisturize my face. It took me ages to find something that wouldn't cause me to break out or make my face sting. And it's La Roche Posay and it's Tolerine Sensitive Cream. And I'll put the link below, I guess. I don't know. And just write write this down below. And I put like this much and I share it on my face. And I have a mirror in front of me, so I can sleep it better. And that's kind of how I want to moisturize my face. I feel like there's probably more steps in life, but like I've never really taken care of my skin, and this is and this is a start. Now we are moisturized, I guess. This is how you probably something tone or something. Um, there are like many girls I know who have many, many steps and their skin is like tofu. But you know, we're just we're just we're just starting out. So I might do a a gentle face today, because sometimes okay, most of the time I just roll with this and some lip balm and I start my day, but sometimes I wanna feel more cute and more like in the zone and different makeup. Gives me a different vibe. Yeah, I'm using lip balm, rose hip seed lip cream by Aesop. And this freaking bottle always oozes out. Look at this. Hell. 
it always oozes out and it's so annoying because like OCD. So I kind of just like, like try and wipe off the tip. And then I like jam the cap back really fast because I don't want it to like catch at the bottom of the cap and be like gross in it. Anyway, so lip balm. Mm. Important. It's kind of just smear it on to be honest. And I do a lip scrub when my lips start to crack because like my instinct is to pick at it. But you shouldn't do that. And it's really easy, like just go to the kitchen, get some sugar. You're supposed to use honey, preferably. But I don't really care. I take some sugar, add some water, and I go like zzz, zzz, zzz. And then like this. Like, and then most of the stuff comes off, which is cool. I put on some, it's really good. It's a complexion corrective soothing moisturizer. So it's the same brand as my moisturizer. And I used a facial wash for this. And I swear by it because I was at the pharmacy and the girl gave me so many tests because I told her I didn't know what would work for my face because my whole life has been like me breaking up with stuff and wasting a ton of money on products. And she said, why would you buy it if you don't know what works for you? Use a tester. And I was like, that's so ethical. And you know, I fell in love with the product. I tried a lot of other products, but this is the only one that didn't cost me to break up. This is a new one from their range and I've used it for a week with no side effects. So I can talk about it. And it's Wunderbart. It's wonderful. And I take about like a squirt and I just go doo, 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 doo. and like this little like redness and stuff will go away somehow a little bit. Maybe it's in my head. And I used to use BB and CC cream by Bo Bo Bourgeois, but you know, I kind of decided to, like, when I don't have to, I don't have to really slap it on so much. Okay, so I have my little moisturizer thing. And I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it helps a little bit. Cool. Okay, no, eye bags. Oh. <gasps> I lost my steam for a bit and I hate it. Sometimes that happens and, you know, I don't try to not hate it, but I just go like, I hate it. Ah, let's fix it. Or not, let's just take a nap. And I don't know if you can tell, but like it's a bit more smooth already, but it's not too thick. I find that it's really wonderful for just making yourself look more like evened out, but also casual. But obviously, the best way is to spend time in the sun without makeup, but there's no sun here. Now, a little bit of Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Camel Drop, because I like the name and also it doesn't make me break out, which is good. And it looks like this. It's like this, like. It's like this green creamy thing with like little bits blended in. You can see that like little bits. I wonder if that's the grass, but I put it on my reddish areas. Just like here, here, wherever, and here, and here. And it looks the same to me, but I feel better about it. So that's what makeup does sometimes, huh? I thought it was something really important and mainstream. People don't like to talk about it, but deodorant. It's great. So I'm using Rexona Motion Sense Invisible on black and white clothes. 0% alcohol, 48 hour anti-sweat. It's black and white and I like black and white, which is great. So then I put them on my pits and you know, it smells, if you want to know it smells. It smells pretty gender neutral. So it's for everyone. Women, women, the ex, the men, anybody. We are going to move our hair away from our damn face. I use Catrice Cosmetics Camouflage Cream. I use it in Ivory number 10. And I found that despite all the other brands I've tried, this is super worth it. And it works really well, so just like a bit, right? And then just kind of... And I spot correct. And... And you don't want to be too white under the eyes, of which I am now, god damn it. But there you go. Okay, cool. So Ellen buys a ton of makeup. She doesn't use them and I get them. Yes, the best. And I'm using the Detail Shadow Brush from the Morphe Starter Kit, the black and white one. And I'm jabbing it into Indie. And then I am drawing the little shadow a little bit. A little bit of a schmoop. And that's kind of, this is my like casual jam thing. Ow. Fuck. My bad. Oh god. Fuck. Shit. And I'm using the Cake Tokyo EX 2.0 Super Sharp Liner by Pantel. Pantel is the brand I used growing up for pants. So this is amazing. I love it. It stays on forever and it's a little like brush. No brushy thing. 
and I kind of just look down into my little mirror and I follow my the other the top second half of my eye and I draw it way too long out and I bring it back and I kind of do the other eye and I Try not to overthink about not doing it evenly because we all know the more you think about that, the more shit it gets somehow. And I think it looks okay. Cute is what we aim for, but let's, you know, let's. So I actually didn't know there were so many brushes because I grew up not having a lot of makeup and my mom not teaching me about makeup and my dad saying, oh, you didn't need to do that. They didn't, they didn't even want me to shave. Uh, my pits or legs, which I know is a construct, blah, 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 blah. But it's also like hygiene for me because I don't know, I just feel cleaner, I guess. So this is all very new. So I'm using Classic and Vintage from the Tartist, Tartist palette and the Flat Shadow Brush from Morphe. I wrote down all the names because I don't. 26, using brushes. Something about highlighting your brow bone is good. The blender. Blender. To not blend, ironically. I like the names of makeup because sometimes they make me feel like Bleh. Um, I'm gonna use hmm, bold. I'm gonna use bold today. And bold is like this this shade over here. Bold. 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 Let's be chill. Sometimes I use edgy and I feel like cool. Okay, so now I kinda like squish it in my eye at the crease, if that makes sense. Um, I haven't really watched a lot of YouTube makeup tutorials because when I was young I tried to follow them and I didn't have the equipment and so I ended up looking weird or I tried the wrong techniques that weren't matching my eye shape and I looked weird and you know. Blender Fluff Vintage Classic I highlight my brow bone again with Sephora's Glow Stick Pearly Luminizer Wet Finish and I just draw under my eyebrows. This. And I draw it here. And I draw it here. Is we like cheekbones. And I do it here. And I've never been able to contour my My favorite concealer is from the same S A E M. It's called Tip Concealer 1.25 Cover Perfection. It's from. I bought it from Japan, but it's made in Korea. And I do like dots here. And here, and I missed a spot, so I'm using the concealer brush from the same set because it was really good value and I got a good starter kit from it and I'm still using it after one year, so it's good quality. Um, it's not super soft, but I guess you need some grip to blend stuff out. If anyone knows better brands for starter kits, let me know because I'm beginning to re-embrace makeup and learn that I can morph into whoever I want to be, whenever I want to be. So kind of not lose myself underneath all of that. And I really admire girls who like get really, really good at it, right? Um, I don't bake. I haven't figured that out. I always look weird. But I had banana powder. I didn't really use it. Okay. Okay. I want to use Colourpop and I built my own palette. And I dropped it like an absolute champion so let's be honest girls who have dropped it but i don't want to take it out because i'm scared i make a mess so i'm using the white shiny one i don't know the name of it let me check i take it out and check i'm using the big three and it's i think holograph and i put it on the inner corners of my eye with my finger because life is hard sometimes and I always jab myself in the eye if I use the baby brush. Okay, so we've done that. The liner brush. I poke it into some of the blacky black and line my eyes. This is so far the my favorite shadow liner, shadow black shadow. It's from Color Popka, so I feel like nothing gives me as much pigmentation. So I use this to go over my uh, eyeliner, my liquid liner, just so I feel it stays better. And it looks less sharp, I don't really like 
too much of a much of a shock vibe. And I use Glass Bowl by ColourPop. And like it looks like an oil stain on the eyes, which I like. So that is my lieu. And I'm not sure about the blending, but I'm gonna use my contour Sephora contouring. It's good, it's well priced, I don't hate it. I look okay. But I do like benefits contouring as well. So I get the peachy one. And I just blend it literally, just like rubbing it somehow works for me. So that's that. I'm using the the flat ish brush from the Morphe set. Its name has rubbed off. Okay, on the muddy one. And I draw it like this. And like this. Under my jaw. But this is my daily. Well, not daily. This is my maybe going up face, I guess. It's morphed. It's morphed. And I might not go out, but at least I have a record of this when I'm like 60 or something. Which might be cool. Okay. And then I use the second darkest one. So clearly I have no strategy, right? I just try to... Apparently you're supposed to do this. But I don't see the difference. And I think being with my keloid scar just out there. Something else. Because I used to be super self-conscious. So it started with a small pimple actually on my chest. And then it got big and became a keloid because I kept picking at it with my own damn fault and I scar really easily using that like one now just blend stuff up um also I don't remove the plastic because I'm a keep and then it just got bigger and bigger and I live with it now sometimes it itches sometimes it just annoys me and sometimes I conceal it if I don't feel it and I don't sweat either way now but you know maybe this is just a month of me a year of me just getting comfortable or more comfortable with myself and my body and talking about it enough till there's no more shame and for my finishing powder i use pons magic powder which is uh, incredible and i use color pops no filter setting powder and when i ran out of that i just refilled it with pons good value super good value oh my god so much it's a bb powder i take my my floof brush, this is from Dew Color. From way back, this is my test set. And then, obviously, the eyeliner brush poked it. Anyway, I just kind of just punch my face with it. Okay. Shut it. And now we're gonna do our lips. Fun. I started doing my lips only last year. It's always been a thing for me. I was like, oh, why do I need to do my lips? I'm barely learning how to draw my eyes. And I realized it was pretty fun. So sometimes I use a dark lip, today I'm going to use a lighter lip and I'm more focused on making sure they're moisturized than they're like just cute all the time. So I'm using Mentholatum's Japanese Moisturizer Balm Stick and I guess there's no color. Just setting my layer on. I'm not a big fan of matte lipsticks because they really dry me out and I don't, I don't know, I feel like I smile and talk too much to the cracked lips because it's gonna hurt a lot. Okay, so let's see then. Then I wipe it off. Probably just removing the purpose of it, but I hope some of it stays. And I'm using Milk Makeup. And I'm using the Work by Milk Makeup for lip and cheek. I don't really use it on my cheek. I can't blend it on my cheeks for shit. This is a gift as well. And I just put a little bit on my bottom. Can you see the difference? Because I can't. And then and I just, I'm guessing as I go, like literally, like that's how I got this far in life, guessing as I fucking go. But I'm researching more now, so it's cool. I'm kind of just... Yeah. And then, when I really want to vamp it up, then I use this Too Faced Lip Injection extreme just because this is wild so i have my lip balm i have my lipstick in my head i'm like i protect my lips i moisturize them then kill them with this i 
schlep it on. And I used to freak out about the colour getting on my thing because it's transparent at first and it was like holographic and it was great. But I've kept a lot of things that I thought was too pretty to use and ended up having to throw them away because I was wasting them. So shine under my nose and I put some more powder underneath. Yeah, I guess that's how I do it. Okay, so what this lip injection extreme thing does is it makes your lips sting and makes it bigger either for real or in my head so casual messy but not actually casual nor easy nor messy ponytail and i think dressing up sometimes to do your work even if you're working from home sometimes it's just a nice feeling really like it so i kind of like pull up the hair over here because the higher the hair the closer to god the smaller the face it's like boop. and I also put some eye drops sometimes. Roto, Roto. This is the Sailor Moon version. It's pink and it's for non contacts. It's a contact version if you wear contacts. And it, like, it makes it less dry and it also makes it brighter for me. And this is amazing for the days where you wake up and like you've had a cry or something or your eyes are just like itchy and you rub them. No one told me till I was pretty cool old that if you feel your eyes itchy, you don't rub it and you kind of like want to pick your lashes. So usually it's a lash that pokes it, so you want to kind of like squeeze it between your fingers and like just gently, and usually it comes off. And I found that out when I was 25, so. And the last thing I like to do with my day is get a perfume that I like. Well, last year I used Kenzo, and how I smelled was really important to me when I was young because everyone used to call me Smelly Melly because it rhymes, and kids are mean, and that's just life. So... I got really obsessed with how I smell and I mixed the perfumes on my own when I was younger, but now I'm older and I'm lazy, so... <laughs> uh, I'm tired. I'm feeling ADHD, man. So I get like little kits like to test out what I really like and then get what I want. So I'm currently trying out the replica kit by Maison Margiela. And it's called replica because it replicates, I think, moods and scents. And I really like the idea of that. There's music festival sailing day. I'm not really into the, the bottom row. But I'm into lazy Sunday morning, um, beach walk, and flower market. So I find a bit of a spritz really cuts me up. So we're using lazy Sunday morning today. Okay. Put it on my front, put it on my back, put it on my wrist. And I kind of just shellep it on. And, I, and yeah. But I hope you enjoyed maybe watching some of this. Or at least learning about some of the vitamins. And I put this out because I didn't want to be scared of having my naked face out in the interwebs. And I do take a photo every day for 100 days on Instagram. And I call it It Me because I feel that it's, it keeps me grounded. It keeps me, it keeps me from fronting too much online because filters are great, right? Um, but I don't want to lose touch with who I am by getting confident behind a, a, a filter, basically. So, yeah. As we get going, I intend to get better at turning on the audio and get better at editing and get better at structuring my talks so it's more succinct, maybe. And hopefully, hopefully it reaches someone money and helps them right that's the goal and if it doesn't i have a fun record of me talking my ass off in 2020 when i'm older thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you soon i want to say next week it might be tomorrow i can't kind of figure where i am right now in my head and where i want to be on the channel but editing this will take the mickey out of me so yeah thank you for joining me on aya adhd and I hope your day is great and and I hope your day is great and I hope that you don't beat yourself up because you didn't do something you planned to do or if you're watching this in bed and thinking about what to do tomorrow or thinking that you should get out of bed now and do something great. Like you do you. Like don't don't beat yourself up for it. It is what it is. And I think like dealing with something like that. The only way to survive dealing with something like that is to be kind to yourself. So yeah. See you soon. Oh, I put the products on the
bottom um if you want to know what what goes in my body or what goes on my face yeah let me know what supplements you take let me know like any makeup tips you have any good brush brands any good brand brands more sensitive skin things is there anything i take for my skin or hair oil what do you use for your hair what do you how do you bleach how do you did i forget anything probably but i'll get right okay see you soon